Hello, Samadan here, and fantastic news. TSM 4.11 has been released, and with that comes the extra functionality of being able to deal with optional reagents, so that's your crafter's marks, your novice crafter's marks, and your relics of the past, and integrate them into your posting and crafting operations, as well as some extra quality of life things like being able to drag groups and change the color theme of TSM. So some massive things that have been going on under the hood with TSM, and it's a really, it's really quite a major update considering where we're at with Shadowlands and Professions. So I'd like to go through and run through how things have changed. Most importantly, the thing that's changed is how you set up your groups. So I'll go and show you what I mean here. So if we go into our TSM and I'll, I'll set up a new profile. So we have no groups and we just have all the, uh, the basic default operations and things like that. And I'll show you how it all works now when creating groups and assigning operations. So one of the first things you'll notice is when you're creating groups, and you're adding items in, you notice this has changed. Now, instead of being two options, we now have specific item, item level, and base item. Before, we used to just have base item and specific item. Now we have item level, which is fantastic for all of your crafters' marks, profession items, as well as your relics of the past. So one thing I would say first off the bat is you may need to remove some of your old groups. If they're using the base item and you want to use something like item level or specific item, it may well confuse TSM if you start interchanging between the two of them. Now remember, this uh, show items as specific item. The important thing to remember here, this is not a toggle for items in the right hand side. This is a toggle for when you're adding items into the grouped item slot. That's very important because for a long time I thought if I added a group in, say like I put in the specific enchants in here, and then if I change this, from specific item to item level. This doesn't change, I and mean, this is probably a bad example because these are enchants, but, but you get the gist. So you just need to remember that this is a setting for when you're adding items into a group. So let's say, for example, let's make some items and we can go through an example here. Okay, as an example, let's look at things like the shadow lace and the shrouded cloth, which the shrouded cloth, we've been putting a novice crafter's mark into those and selling those at item level 87 so that the required level is 50 so that we can sell those to a fresh level 50 character with a decent markup. So if you have a look here, you can see here on my TSM crafting, you can see there a crafting cost of 60 gold and it's taking into account the novice crafter's mark of 14 gold. Now in terms of that novice crafter's mark, TSM is taking the cost craft that crafter's mark based on the profession that I'm in, like for in this case it's tailoring. If I was on blacksmithing, it would take the cost of a crafter's mark for blacksmithing. So that's something to bear in mind when you're looking at TSM and the crafting cost there. And that's how it's calculating the profit as accurately as possible. And then you'll see here at the top you've got the uh, random stats 1 and 2 at the moment in the tooltip. So if I was to make one of these with a novice crafter's mark on them, and create one of those, and then say for the upper end of the spectrum, we are currently making Crafters Mark 2, soon to be Crafters Mark 3 for the currently item level 151. We're actually going to add in the Crafters Mark 2 here. 3 and uh, Chained R will be coming very soon once I get the reputation. But for this purposes of this example, we're going to set that to 168. So for a fresh level 60 character, this is quite attractive. So we're going to make one of those at the moment. I'm just using the standard interface here just so it's clearer to see what I'm doing with the optional reagents. This is completely possible in TSM 4.11. You can now make, in this case, uh, say the shadow lace trousers. You can come down here, add optional reagent, set the item level, add in a crafter's mark 2, and you can either craft it straight away there or you can queue it up to craft there and you can see it here in the tooltip and we can craft it that way. The same with the shrouded cloth. We can go here, we can go and add optional reagents, change the item level, put a novice crafter's mark in and craft one of those. So there's multiple ways of doing this. A lot of it can be done within TSM now. Another thing you may have noticed here, there's a new rank column here, which tells you where you're at with all your legendary base items and the rank you're in. Again, sometimes I switch between the uh, standard interface on these so I can see the little bar and TSM. So it's interchangeable as to which one you use. So I've made a bunch of stuff. Let's talk about making those groups again. So we'll go over to our TSM, into our groups here. 
So we've got a new group, and say this is going to be for our um, tailoring here. I'm just going to call this something at the moment. So we've got this currently set to item level. And if you look down here, we've got the shadow lace trousers and the shrouded cloth pants. And when you hover over the tooltip, you can see that item level 87 says random stat 1 and 2 and random stat 1 and 2. If I change this to specific item and we look down at this, we've got the two I've made now and they have different stats. Um, extra critical strike and haste there and versatility and mastery. So you can see there's two different items and the same with the shuttle lace trousers. Now usually when people want to buy these they don't necessarily concern themselves with the actual stats themselves. They're just looking for an item level boost just to get them uh, a bit further into the game. So usually for those I will do item level. You could go base item and that will mean that TSM will just look at the um, base item no matter what the item level or the stats but these days that's not really necessary. That's how we used to do the crafting and selling. So what I can do now is with the specific item level ones in, uh, shrouded cloth pants and the trousers, we now add them into the group. So now we have them here, shadow lace trousers, and there you can see it's item level 68, and we have shrouded cloth pants, item level 87. And TSM there in the tooltip, you can see it's taking into account the novice crafters mark for the shrouded cloth pants and the shadow lace trousers. Now if we were to make a couple of operations based on these groups, so if we take a crafting operation and we make a new operation, I will say, let's do 20 of those, minimum profit, say, 10% crafting would be my standard percentage would be my standard operation there and I'll just call this one 20 for the moment so in this case um, we're going to make 20 of them um, minimum restock quantity of 10 so we can change that down to 1 make sure we're crafting everything and using 10% crafting so TSM will look at the items in this group uh, looking at the operation there making 20 so if we then go into the profession under our TSM groups under tailoring gear and restock selected groups. Now I've already got a few extra of these in other places which is why you can see 16 of these and you can see here that we've got the crafters mark 2 and the novice crafters marks required here as part of what we're doing in our crafting queue and then if we go to the gathering tab TSM knows we have to make some extra crafters marks and some extra novice crafters marks and we have to get some more um, cloth from the guild bank and if you see that in the task list there get these from the guild bank and craft each of these extra crafters mark and then it will make these with the appropriate optional reagent applied to them i won't go ahead and make those because there's quite a lot of them there so that's how you'd set up a group there's a couple of other really nice things you can look at here so bear in mind this is really really flexible so we've got our tailoring gear maybe we wanted to add in something with a relic of the past because that's another thing we can do now we could search on the base group for a specific item and again when you're searching within the base group you can look for specific item item level or base item so if we were to look for dreadful gladiators you can see these are all different item level sets there's one at 28 34 19 and these will have different, if you look right down at the bottom right of my tooltip there, it says a Relic of the Past 4, Relic of the Past 1, Relic of the Past 5, Relic of the Past 2, uh, 3, and that one's just the base item without any Relic of the Past applied. Sometimes if you're going to do something like this specific gear, it's actually better to make it yourself and then add it in from your list of items in your bag. So if I go over to the standard interface and I make myself say for example we wanted to create let's go down here crafted um, let's go with one of the ones that can have an optional reagent so say the crafted dreadful gladiators silk handguards currently has a vendor cell price of one gold 29 so it's pretty cheap to list anyway but if we stick a relic of the past one on that it now has a Where's the vendor sell price gone? There it is. Vendor sell price of 15 silver, which interestingly for crafted transmog means it's cheaper to list on the auction house. So that's something for old gear to think of. Also, someone might want this at this specific lower item level so they can start doing maybe some power leveling or something like that. So you could make one of those. I need some more windwall cloth though. So let me just 
open up my guild bank, excuse all my cloth, I have a load. There we go, let's grab some of that there, and then we'll go back to this. So let's have a look at one of these again. Okay, so uh, crafted dreadful gladiator silk handguards, and we want to add in, say, maybe a relic of the past one onto that. Let's create one of those. And then when we go into our TSM group, and we can go on tailoring gear, and we can look at this and we change this to uh, item level, so it stays at that. So silk handguards, item level 19, so TSM will make one of those that has, if you look in the relic of the past one, apply to it there, add that item in to the list. And if we went back into our tailoring restock operation and go and restock those, you can see we're going to make a whole load of those and we'll need a whole load of relic of the past one. And then gathering, we've already got a whole load in my guild bank, so I know I can go and collect those up there. So it's a very flexible system. It takes into account all of the optional reagents and you can add items in quite easily. I would recommend with uh, the way optional reagents work is to make them from your bag, make them, make the items you need and put them into your bags like that. You can of course still use uh, base items um, if you want to just make anything at their base item level uh, without adding optional reagents in and then you can make specific items for selling those items like we used to do before. That's entirely possible. I would suggest though that for specific sets of gear that you choose one or the other and you don't start interchanging them. So then when it comes to auctioning operations, if we go back over to TSM and our tailoring gear example here, and we make an auctioning operation, let's just make a, a basic one here, call it craft, and in the posting operation, let's just go 110% crafting, maximum price 500% crafting. This is just a, a rough example, obviously and trying to keep it as simple as possible and this would be say 200% crafting. There we go. And so with that auctioning operation assigned to our tailoring group with the craft operation there, if we were then gonna go and post those on, you run a post scan. I've got all these uh, with my default operation. I forgot about those. I tend to just take the base group off there. Run a post scan on those. So there we go. We can see what TSM will be doing is matching this against all other ones with the different stats, but the same item level and matching against the prices of those. The same with the shrouded cloth pants. We're ignoring the random stats and we're just looking at the item level and TSM is matching the prices there. And um, the same with the trousers, ignoring the random stats and going for the, the base item level instead. So it's a really good system for optional reagents. So you will probably have to remake your groups, but I assure you it's well worth the effort. I will have my own groups and operations available on my Patreon, so if you're interested in uh, taking hold of mine, I'm going to have all the Shadowlands Profession ones on there as soon as possible, and then I'll be adding in the Crafters Mark III and Chained R once I get those as well. So uh, the link to that is in the description below. But there's other great things as well with TSM 4.11. In terms of group management, it's really nice because you can then go for, say, your tailoring gear. We've got different things here. Let's say we made different subgroups and we called this one um, high level 87. And we make another group and we call this high level 168. And then we make um, another one and call gladiators or something like that. And we can look at our group here and we can go, okay, well, this one, I'm going to click and drag that and pop that into gladiators and this one we're going to pop into 168 and this one we're going to pop into 87 and then when you look at each of these those have been dropped into each of the respective groups you can also if you're going to make another group let's call this one stuff and if you right click drag down here select a whole load of items from my bags and then I can just drag all of those into stuff and then they're added in there that's really handy. Let's say, for example, you are making your, your legendary gear. Let's make a legendary group here. And we want to make a number of groups within this, rank one, rank four, and so on and so on. You could then go into your base group and you search. We're searching by item level again, so that is set to that. And if I search for Grim, Grim Veiled, now you can see we've got all the different options here. We've got two, three, one, seven, five, which is uh, not really used, that's these kind of like the base item, and they've got 235 for the rank 4, 
and 190 for the rank 1. So you can see all of them here. What you could do here is type in a slash and go I for the um, item level and say let's say with 235, so anything over 235 and then we can select say all the legendary rank 4s because these are all 235, you can see that in the tooltip. I right click drag all of those. We can use the select group and move the items there but it's just as quick now to just drag those straight into rank 4. And then we could go say we want to look at the item level 190. This also includes all the ones above that as well so you can put another slash in there I level 190 and that gives us just all of the 190 items and we right click drag all of those and they go into our rank 1. Really handy way of just moving items about and then you've got them all set up and ready to make your groups and add your operations. Really flexible system. I think the TSM team have done a fantastic job in getting this all sorted, ready for 9.1 once we're starting to have even more optional reagents and we can start competing with people at the same item level for certain items. And then finally one of the other things uh, that's new to TSM 4.11 which is under the appearance you can actually set your individual colours for certain themes and everything here and you can edit your to your heart's content to all sorts of different custom themes and you can also export it and import it from someone else's which is also a really nice customization option. So those are the main TSM 4.11 features. I think they're absolutely fantastic, really good quality of life improvements. Uh, changing the way that the groups work and just moving things around within groups is kind of like one of the core things we do within TSM in terms of managing our groups. There's never, there's never a time when I'm not tweaking or adjusting my groups. So a big thank you to the TSM team for creating this. If you'd like to support them, please do consider signing up for their premium version. I've even got an affiliate link for that down below so you'll support both them and me by using that affiliate link. But I think they've done a fantastic job. Really looking forward to what's coming next with TSM 4.11. If you have any questions or anything you'd like to ask me, please do put a comment below or join my Discord or ask me directly on my Twitch streams. So I stream three times a week, every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday evening UK time. And of course, like I said before, all of my groups and operations are available over on my Patreon as well, and I'll keep those up to date as things progress through Shadowlands. And when I get all my old professions maxed out as well, I'll be adding into them. So I hope you found that useful. Until next time, happy gold making, and I'll see you very soon.